One of the things we ask for when you apply to the University of Birmingham is a research proposal. And to understand what a research proposal is, think plain and simple, what is the area of research and what is the thing that really matters? It is definitely a proposal, you don't need to have the answers yet, but it's setting out for us that you have got your own ideas, that you have a research area that you want to shape and that it's part of your passion as to why you really want to address the questions that are big in that area. The best piece of advice I can give you for writing a research proposal is to bear in mind what we call the four P's. That means the person, your preparedness, your project and the place. To think about those a little bit more, we need to know a bit about you as a person, where you've come from in your acad academic background, your area of interest. Your preparedness, we need to know about what kind of study you've done before, what kind of skills you've developed on those study programmes. You might have related skills uh, from uh, outside of study that shows how prepared you are for that particular research programme. But crucially, the project, does it add up? Does it make sense? Um, and finally, does that project need to take place here? So think about the place, think about the University of Birmingham, what's important. To write a good research proposal, you need to include enough information. That means not just setting out the general area, but crucially, what are the one or two really significant questions for your area of research? That can be quite a challenge to, start to decide how big or how small you go, work with a potential supervisor on that, but always have one or two really striking research questions. In your research proposal, you should also include some of the context. What is going on in the field? And it's really, really useful to think about what's going on now and what's missing. So for some areas, that will mean that nothing's been done since the 1950s and now is the time where we need to update it. In other areas, there's a lot going on, but there's still a gap or an angle of approach or particular way of researching it that has been missed. So think about what's going on there already. So there's the question and the context. There are two other useful elements that should go into the research proposal. The element of how you're going to actually answer your question, what people call the methodology. What is it? What actually are you going to do? And don't be afraid to think of that as just the nuts and bolts bit. It's OK to say that you're just going to sit down and read and write with a pencil. But often there'll be uh, types of research that involve interviewing or types of research that might involve some field work or uh, trips to an archive. Think about what the method is, not just that you're going to sit in the archive and look at pretty books or pretty images, but what you're going to do to actually interrogate that information. And finally, you need to think in your research proposal about what your research and what your analysis will uncover. You definitely don't need to have the answers yet, but you need to have a good idea as to where it might lead and what the kind of conclusions might be. Think of it really as what original contribution might you make to that research area. Before you start writing a research proposal, the most important thing you can do is make contact with a potential supervisor. Typically to do that, you might want a draft of an idea and to give a flavour as to what your academic experience is up till that point. Crucial is if you make contact with us, we can help advise you on your research proposal. And that's a really important step with a research degree programme.